So let's say you're entering this snap shack, okay? You're lying down on the sofa, you're watching TV, you're falling asleep, you feel this gentle breeze, and then this bear comes in with a tweezer, plucking all of your eyebrows off. Depending on your cultural value, you may feel embarrassed to see your friends. Why am I telling you all of this? Well, basically, I want to help you memorize the solubility rules using a phrase called One Knapsack featuring the Castro Plucking Bear with PMS. So, I want to first state that, you know, I, say I chose one because group one elements, which are the alkali metals, are always soluble. So one or from here are always soluble. So lithium, sodium, potassium. Uh, what's also soluble are nitrates, acetates, perchlorate, sulfates, halogens, ammonium, chloride, and potassium. So nap, these three, shack, the rest of them. All right, so these are all soluble, but there are some exceptions. So the SH exceptions, you can think of when your eyebrows are all plucked off, you're going to say, oh, shoot. So the SH, shoot will be your exceptions, all right? So the S stands for sulfates. So like I said before, sulfates are typically soluble, but there are some exceptions for sulfates. If sulfates merge with calcium, strontium, lead, or barium, it's not going to be soluble. Also, halogens are also typically soluble, but if halogens are merged with either lead, mercury, or silver, it's not going to be soluble. One last exception is that fluorides uh, they're typically soluble but they're not soluble when they merge with the group 2 elements the alkali earth metals so these are the solubility rules just remember that one knapsack featuring castro plucking bear with pms as you enter this knapsack again you're lying down you feel this gentle breeze and then this castro plucking bear comes into the story you know he's aggressively plucking away all of your eyebrows he's it's indicative of PMS <laughs> and you know you feel embarrassed uh, there is the SH exception oh shoot what happened to my eyebrows and there you go now you memorized the the solubility rules